We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Elijah Campbell, Miami Dolphins defensive back. I think he has a really good chance of making the roster this year, and I'm going to show some plays why I think he should make the roster. I mean, he was kind of the standout, like, to, like the last preseason last year after Cater Kohu. He had a really solid preseason making plays, and I know in this camp he's looked really good as well. And I think a big reason, you know, he makes the team is he's a solid special teams player. He's going to always make an impact there. That's first and foremost how he really makes the team. And then I just think versatility, his fit in the defense really helps. Like when you're later on the roster and you're a versatile guy that can be a safety or a nickel like Elijah Campbell can be, and he can come out and like the way they used him in this Bills game, like he played a decent amount in this Bills playoff game and he was the QB spy. Like we saw the Dolphins struggle with athletic QBs throughout the year, like especially the Justin Fields, the Bears game. It was really bad. They tried to QB spy him and the linebackers couldn't handle it. They used Elijah Campbell as a QB spy in this game like a handful of times. And I don't think he really had a negative play. Here he gets like a sack on Josh Allen. He has, it was like the perfect because he's a very physical safety. I mean, he's not the biggest DB, but he's not too, super small either. And he's just super athletic and very physical. It's why he excels on special teams. And like, I really like that fit. Uh, so I think he has an impact to make. And I think this, honestly, with how good he looked in the Bills playoff game, just spying Josh Allen, I think that also gives him a really good chance of making this team. So uh, let's get right into this one. When he was on the field, I did like his fit as like a tight end matchup. Like, I don't think he's the best man-to-man -man guy and you want him on receivers all the time. But when he was against tight ends, he's willing to get physical. He's obviously good versus athletic tight ends when they're not like super big. But he gets physical. He has good play strength. Doesn't get overpowered um, at the point of attack. In press man here. Gets hands into the chest. Good hand placement. And now he's just sticking with him. Uh, running stride for stride. No, he has help to the middle of the field because it's cover one. So he's maintaining his outside low hip leverage and just reading the tight end here. Reads the body language and anticipates the corner throw. That's very, very good coverage uh, for a guy. He only played about 100-ish snaps on defense, uh, which I think, you know, overall for a depth DB, that's pretty solid uh, special teams guy. Uh, just another reason I think he has a very high chance of making the roster, especially because, I mean, this training camp, he's looked pretty solid again from what I've seen. This is an interesting play to show because he kind of gets beat here off the line instantly because he goes for a really heavy jam at the line of scrimmage. He tries to get like a big press jam, but I just love the attempt of it at least. You know, this is a tight end. He just goes up, jam, makes him at least throw off the timing of his route a little bit. Um, and he knows he has help to the inside, so he really takes like the outside angle on this. And he knows if he does work towards the middle of the field, it will work towards the free safety. And he's still able to recover, get back in the hip pocket pretty quickly. Uh, if this was thrown, he still had a chance to make a play on this ball. He has the athleticism to make up for it, the recovery speed. But I do like that attempt of being physical. Uh, he can play down in the box. He's a pretty solid defender there. Uh, I think when you have lighter boxes, he can be like a dime linebacker almost at times as well. And I think in this type of defense, like... In the Eagles, the Eagles last year where Fangio was, you know, helping out with, uh, they would use some of their safeties as dime linebackers that could help versus the run that were good run defenders. And I think Campbell is probably better versus the run overall than versus the pass because of that physicality and athleticism. And he's pretty instinctive when he's near the line of scrimmage. It's a third and long situation and Campbell sees that this might be a screen. He's just reading Debo Samuel and uh, he does a pretty good job recognizing this play. And when he can basically play this like a special team snap almost like just a screen and then you got to make the tackle working through some of the trash here uh it's a very special teams s type of play on offense like and he's up close on debo because they think they might throw the screen to debo because he's usually that guy but they go to iuke and he comes down ready to make this tackle but he sees 15 ready to cut him off so he just works over the top of it sees chubb slow him down does a really good job he's very uh consistent at his tackling he's a very consistent solid tackler overall he stays square he'll fly down at you but he comes down and comes under control once he gets there so he doesn't you know play out of control at the point of attack another example of why i like him sort of near the line of scrimmage i just like that versatility he can bring like he can go out there and like be your nickel maybe like a strong safety dime linebacker because he's also a good blitzer off the edge he has the closing speed his play style this is like why all of his defensive all of his defensive film just shows why he's a good special teams player usually your special teams player are guys who are highly competitive high effort very fast but also physical and good tacklers that's pretty much what you're looking for and you can see the closing speed here look how fast he's moving i think he's like a 4-4 guy like 4-4 flat uh, and you can definitely see it on the film he plays that fast as well and I just feel like the more he gets out in space covering deep down the field, the more trouble he'll get into. That's why he's never been like a full-time starter, but he definitely can play a role on this defense. And I think he's one of those 53-man guys that you keep on the roster. Here we get to see him man-to-man -man with a tight end. 
Uh, this is towards the end of the game. He does a good job getting physical. He really looks undercut. He's a very uh, uh, big risk taker. He likes to go for those big plays. Like in the preseason game, he had a couple picks where he was just trying to undercut some things. And here, in more of like a softer press look, he gets physical at the point of attack. Once he breaks and like the tight end creates a little separation with his physicality, he's able to close quickly and he goes for the undercut. Um, makes a play right there at the catch point. Uh, good job by him. Nice to see him. He has some ball skills as well. Didn't get to showcase it too much during the regular season, but overall you can definitely see that it's there. Nothing like crazy, but it's definitely something to look at. Uh, as like Especially as a depth defender, I really like him. Good job here by Campbell running the alley on like this jet sweep to Montgomery right here. He does a good job just breaking down, getting downhill quickly, taking a good angle to the point of attack, and then help making this tackle with uh, someone else right there. But just seeing the motion... Um, he's reading the handoff, he gets downhill, and basically this is like running the alley um, on like an outside zone from safety. He's definitely an impactful run defender when he's either down in the box or, you know, uh, in like a split field safety position to make an impact on these running plays. Now I'm going to show some of the preseason plays. You could tell he's just one of the better players on the field, especially when he's going against like second and third string teams. Uh, just very good patience. He gets the picks, the interception here, and I think he, does he score? I can't remember. Oh yeah, I mean he ends up scoring. That's a you know high effort play. I love that out of him. But uh, good job in man to man. Very patient here. It looks like they're trying to you know set this up like a rub route, um, trying to get him to uh, fall for this. Like he's this guy's like faking like he's gonna you know block down and they're gonna throw this behind. And they they want Campbell and him both to fall for this. And then the receiver to sit down. I don't know what this guy's doing honestly. Maybe he's just running the wrong play. But he stays patient. He stays square. He gets hands on him over the top. And then he ends up throwing the ball there for some reason. And he gets the interception. Makes the you know backup quarterback play whoever that was but uh campbell finishes for the touchdown another campbell interception here showing like he might blitz pre-snap and he's just you know in man-to-man -man versus the running back and from where he was lined up like i mean i don't know how he ends up with this interception he gets the hit takes it out and he ends up somehow picking it off he's just sort of you know he's a very scrappy player and he's a playmaker i feel like just when he actually gets his chance to make his plays uh, this is a third and five situation he's just sort of sitting at the sticks unless he sees the running back Work to the flat. He knows he's not going to run anything else too crazy. And he's just, you know, sort of baiting this throw. And once he does throw it, he gets there at the point of attack. Placed through the hands, which ends up sort of like hooking the ball and him getting there to scoop it out. And that was an interception for Latch Campbell. It never hit the ground. So really good work by Campbell. Love his feel near the line of scrimmage. I feel like he's just that type of safety you can match up on linebackers and pass catching running backs. And he'll be pretty effective. And he always just seems to be in like the right place at the right time. Dolphins in cover three here. Uh, we get to see him as like the buzz defender robbing down. I actually think as his own defender, we didn't get to see him too much, but it looks like he's more comfortable than that area, which I think, you know, makes him a better fit, especially an underneath zone, which I think makes him a better fit for the Fangio defense if he does end up playing. Obviously, his bigger impact will be on special teams. Like, I don't, like, but with, you know, injuries happening in the DB position, they've already lost Ramsey for a, a long period of time. You can see how he might end up playing at some point. Uh, I think, you know, he's like that one of the last DBs to make the roster, but he can play both safety and nickel for you. And this is just a high level instinctive play. He's buzzing down. He's like basically a hook curl defender here. And he's just seeing the tight end sit over the middle of the field, all this space. And once he sees that and he sees the QB sort of looking in this direction, he starts to break down. You can see the closing burst and then the physicality to play through the catch point and knock that ball out. You can see he's just got that dog in him. And I just love that about his play style. He was like, like last year, Cater Hook was definitely my favorite preseason guy. That's why I made so many videos on him. If you've been around, you know, I've been a Kohu guy before the season even started last year. And Kohu is, I think, one of my favorite players on the Dolphins currently. But I think Campbell was the next guy who stood out to me in the preseason last year. And throughout the season, when he did play, he was never a huge detriment to the defense. He would still make some plays. He wasn't making like huge impact plays all the time but it was still you know solid enough and i think you know he has that role that qb spy maybe versus the very athletic quarterbacks so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure that comes around because i got to be